Hey everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to talk about rocks and rollers. That's right, we're going to be rocking and rolling here on Farming Simulator 22 and on Elm Creek, the map. But before that, this video is brought to you by Gal Comp Gamer. Thank you for being a farm baron. So you've prepared your soil and now you have a field full of rocks. Big rocks? Small rocks. How are we going to get rid of these? Well, we've got a couple different methods. As you've come to expect here on the channel, we're going to take a look at each and every one of them. We have three rock collectors, and they're going to be used mostly to pick up our big rocks. We're just going to see if they will also pick up the little rocks. But we also have a roller, and we can use the roller to press the little rocks back down into the soil and we get the added benefit of getting a seed bed texture which then is going to net us a minor yield bonus for the coming crop so if we mulched and then rolled our seed bed we're going to be able to get multiple small bonuses toward our next crop now, let's take a look at these rock pickers in the shop. So we have a whole category set aside just for picking up rocks. Right here, stone pickers. And we have the Deagleman Signature 7200. It only requires 100 horsepower, has a 2 meter working width, and holds 2.9 tons of rock. Oh, sorry, it has a weight of 2.9 tons, holds 2,300 liters of rock. Right there. Then we go with the bigger Rock King 9600, holds 3,800 liters of rock, has a 200 horsepower requirement. Much bigger working width at 2.4 meters. <laughs> Much bigger. Then we have the Scorpio 550. Now this thing only requires 120 horsepower, holds 2,000 liters of rocks, and has a 5.5 meter working width. Now these are not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but I have to say they are going to save us a fair bit of money, I believe, when it comes to maintenance by getting these rocks up off the field. So we have to unfold it, lower it and turn it on and then at that point we don't get stuck on our tractor wheel we run through and you can see basically the rock collector brings in the soil the rocks get stuck in the rock collector bay if you will and then the dirt falls down underneath that is the pull behind rock collector. Now we've seen it pick up big rocks. Let's go and just see if it grabs these little rocks also. Move over here to where the little rocks are. does appear to be grabbing those as well. So there you go. We have the larger stone picker. The smaller stone picker is going to basically do the same thing. Just has a narrower working width. Lower it. Turn it on. We'll unfold it. And we'll get it out here picking up rocks, right? Pretty straightforward in what this thing does, right? And then we probably have the stone collector that everyone wants to use, and that is the Scorpio. 
because it is the coolest looking one and it's the one we've seen at FarmCon and GamesCon information. That's the largest working with and just kind of goes out and grabs a rock stone. It also has the smallest capacity of all of the stone collectors. And there you go. So, what do you do once you have collected your rocks? Well, you need to take them down to the stone crusher. Or you could just tip them here alongside the side of the field. You go put them in your neighbor's yard, whatever you really wanted to do. But in theory, you need to take them down to the stone crusher. So I'm going to go ahead and magically transport all three of these down there. And I'll see what we can do. While our tractors drive their way down here, I thought we'd go ahead and talk about the stone crusher here on... Elm Creek, it is located right over here, just south of the oil mill and north or north of the great processing unit. Yep, we have the stone crusher. Now we can either dump it right here on the ground or we can put it up there in the top. Now, if you're on a map that does not have a stone crusher, you can place one down by going into the build mode. And then if we go to tools I believe selling points sorry we go to selling points we have a stone crusher that we can place for ten thousand dollars and here come the guys right now what we're gonna do to sell our stones is pretty simple we're just going to back up to the unit now we only have 64 liters of stones in here we're going to hit i to unload and we dumped it in there we made nine dollars off of 64 liters of stone so we're not going to get rich by any stretch of the imagination but what we can do is basically to some degree pay for our fuel that we are going to be using to collect these stones. And I think ultimately what we're going to see in another video, I'm going to do what happens if you don't collect the stones. I think we're going to see it's going to be far, far worth our effort in getting the stones picked up off the field versus leaving them on the field and suffering the maintenance penalty that we're going to get as a result of farming with rocky fields. Now, let's say that you don't subsoil, you don't spade, and you have a field full of little stones. Well, little stones, we can just roll our troubles away. So I have a Dalbo roller right here, the Power Roller 1210 HD. Let's take a look at the rollers in the shop. We have two main rollers in the shop. We have the Power Roller 1230 HD and the Mega Roll 2430. So 41,000 or 140,000 dollars. Now this one has a 24.3 meter working width, but does require 350 horsepower to operate. Using these is pretty darn simple. You just lower it down. And off we go. And what you're going to see is we're going to be crushing those stones or pushing those stones back down into the ground. We're getting a slightly changed soil texture as a result of this. And we are also getting a seed bed texture behind us. Now I want to come over here and I'm going to demonstrate if we roll over these big stones, they remain. They do not go away. So the only way to get rid of the big stones is to use the stone collector. But if we use a roller, we can get rid of the littler stones. 
And if we take a look at our field, field layers here, you're going to see that we now have seed bed where we've used the roller. Where we've used the stone collector, we still only have a cultivated texture. So we will not get the seed bed bonus if we use the stone collector and the stone collector alone. So guys, that is pretty much it. That is the gist of stones. We saw in the field work video, basically what types of field work produce stones of various sizes. To this video, we saw basically how you can get rid of stones, both large and small. And in the next video upcoming, we're going to reset this field exactly how it was at the start of this video. And I'm gonna run a little bit of an experiment where I'm going to plant the field and seed the field. And we're gonna see what are the net effects of leaving all of these stones on the field. So guys, let me know in the comments, what do you all think of the inclusion of rocks in Farming Simulator 22? Of course, you can go in and turn those off in the settings, should you so wish. But if you're choosing to play with the rocks, what do you think of the fact that we've now included rocks in the game? I know some folks are fairly polarized on this. Some folks come from the land of no rocks, and you know what? You all are blessed. Like, there's no tomorrow, because if you don't have rocks in your soil, well, then you really don't have a clue how lucky you really are, because other folks come from the land of rocky down under, and pretty much you're lucky if you have more dirt in your fields then you have rocks. So until next time, happy farming.